Welcome to this new video. This video is about dense in RangX function. So you can see in this table, this is the RangX function which we have applied. And here you can see one, two, three, four. And now the fifth value and the sixth value are similar, same value, and we got five, five. So since we got two times this uh, ranging, so the next option, the next rank will not be the rank which is just plus one of that. It will be plus two or plus three. Now you can see here, eleventh rank has come four times. So the next rank it will be around. 15. So if you don't want the rank system to be like this, if you want it to be like, okay, after 5 you need, you need to show it 6 here, you need to, after 8 you need to show it 9, then you need to use that option of dense in the rank x function. And once you use the dense function, it is used when there is a tie between two rows. So once you use the dense function, the resultant rank x will be shown like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, and after that, instead of 7, you will be getting 6 also. After that tie is 2, 7 comes it will come as 8. So now 4, 9 came as time. So the next value, it will be 10. You can see an example. We are having a data set where we are having the Wimbledon con winners by country wise. So you can get it in the table. So in this table, we have got the country. We have got the all time winners. That is the number of times a representative from the country has won the Wimbledon. This is for men's. Now we can sort it by all time. And so when we do the ranking here, UK will come first and US will come second. And here you can see France and Sweden, they are tied. So first we will use the simple rank function to show and we will see how the different, what is the difference between sim that simple rank function and the dense. So now we will create a measure and we will name it as a rank. We can name it as a rank equals to, you can use the rank x function itself, rank x. You can use the table and the table is Wimbledon country. And then we need to give the expression. Expression, of course, we will use calculate. Calculate and we can use the expression as maximum and Wimbledon country all time. And now we no need to give the value. Okay, we can give the descending order and then we can close it. So now we will, we will select the table and we can select the rank function inside the table and we will see. Of course, everything came because it is the filter is still working there. We need to take out the filter from the table. So you will use an all function here. Now we got the rank function, one, two, three, four. And here we can see friend, France and Sweden is having five, but Serbia is not coming as six, it is coming as seven. The rank should be six for Serbia, so, but it is coming as seven. So here we need to use the dense parameter in the rank x function. So we will use one more function, one more measure and we will see. So rank with dense equals to rank x and we can create all Wimbledon country and then we will create the calculate calculate and max of Wimbledon all time and then it is value no need to give value and we need it by descending order and now the next argument is the ice and that is what ice returns the rank of an expression evaluated in the current context in the list of values for expression evaluated for each row in the specified table and ties you can skip the ties skip will be automatically enabled but you are using dense then it won't skip it you can see the result now itself you can select the table and you can select the rank in dense inside the table you can see the difference here so now here it is france and sweden is having five but serbia is coming as six so the, now the problem is solved germany and new zealand are coming as seven and they, they are tied with seven and spain came as six. but if you are using the simple rank x function it won't happen you have to use that dense function if you want a result set like this hope this will be useful for you have a nice day